Hello and welcome to Low Carb Mag. Today I'm joined by Meg Doll, who's a registered holistic nutritionist. Now you might think that's not difficult to say, but from my point of view, it is. Anyway, enough about me. Meg, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great today. It's nice to be chatting with you. Thank you for having me on your show. It's a pleasure. Really, it's nice to have you. So <laughs> let's just dive straight into things. Why did you start your blog in the first place? Because you know, there's a huge amount of information on it. Right, yeah. Um, well, my blog has went through huge transformations over the years. I am 26 right now, and I started my blog when I was 20 years old, when I first started going to university. I was going to university about 30 hours away from home, um, two provinces away. I'm Canadian, so it's provinces here, not states. Um, but yeah, so I was far away from home and I was cooking up a storm in my dorm room because I didn't really like what the cafeteria was serving and I was posting all of my pictures on Facebook and a lot of people were just recommending that I started a blog because they wanted all of my recipes in one spot. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea, but my main motivator was just to kind of keep my parents up to date on my life, to be honest. Um, I felt like so much happened throughout my day, and I'm really close with my both of my parents. So I thought a blog would be someplace I could write about my day and my thoughts and stuff like that, and my parents could read it and just be up to date on my life because when we got on the phone at the end of the day I was usually pretty tired and forgot everything that happened so that's really why I started my blog in the first place. Oh excellent so I mean before we sort of go into that a bit more can you tell us a bit about yourself because you're, you're a registered holistic nutritionist aren't you what exactly is that? I am. So I have a history of anorexia. So I battled eating disorders in the past. And one of the key health professionals that helped me recover was a dietitian. So she was a very important role in my life throughout my teenage years. And I was very inspired by her to go to university and study dietetics. So that's exactly what I did. I went to London, Ontario to study dietetics, food and nutrition. And I absolutely loved what I was learning there. It's a great program. Um, so I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Food and Nutrition. But throughout those four years of studying, I started to realize that there was so much more to food that I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to learn about how food can be used to heal the body, not just mm -hmm. kind of adapt to an illness that is already present. I really wanted to be more on the preventative side of health. Mm -hmm. And so luckily, um, London, Ontario had a Canadian School of Natural Nutrition there. And so I took their natural nutrition program and graduated as a registered holistic nutritionist. So what that is, is kind of like what I said, we really view food as being medicine. Mm -hmm. We take a preventative approach and a holistic approach. You know, it's, it's not just about food. Um, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them I never give my clients meal plans or diet plans, because mm -hmm. I just don't think that's necessary, you know, so we focus on the foods that their body needs for healing, but it's a very holistic approach. We talk a lot about mindset because I truly do believe it all begins with your mindset. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to change if things up here don't change and lifestyle, sleep, supplements, that sort of thing. So it's a very holistic um, approach to healing and just gaining health, really. That's excellent. That's excellent. So obviously you've got you know a certain type of person in mind when you're uh, putting information on the blog. What, what type of person would that be? 
Right. So the I just think about my audience and their needs, really. Um, problems that arise within the population that I talk to. So um, the majority of people that I connect with either have a history of an eating disorder or a disordered relationship with food. There definitely is a difference, you know, so you don't have to have an eating disorder for me to work with you. Um, but I feel like, you know, with the female population, a lot of us do just have, I like to call it a wonky relationship with food. You know, we don't feel right. free. Yeah, we don't feel free with our food choices. So really, I work with any any person, because I do work with a few men um, that want to experience freedom within their life. I know what it's like to feel very trapped and just wanting that freedom so bad, but not really knowing who to turn to, what to do. Um, so I really help those people, anyone looking for freedom. And within that, I deal with a lot of mental health issues, digestive issues, and hormonal imbalances. Super job. So, I mean, in amongst all that information that you put out, um, do you have any, I'll say, favorite topics that you really like to write about? Mindset is my jam. That's what I always tell people. So um, any kind of mindset thing, I'm currently working on a book that is soon to be released out into the public in December. And the entire first half of my book is all about how you need to have your mindset right in yeah. order to approach the diet portion yeah. for healing yeah. um, because the people that believe that diet is the be all and end all and the answer that they've been looking for, they need a mindset shift. And yeah. so really any of my posts that have to do with mindset, self love, um, loving ourselves. I think that's a huge component to yeah. our health and healing. So I'm really into writing those posts. Those are some of my favorites, but I can also get nerdy with my posts too and start talking about, you know, the actual science to healing and how food actually works within the body. Yeah, I've got to agree with, uh, with everything you said there. I mean, one of the first books I wrote was called How to Lose Weight by Using the Power of Your Mind. And that, that very much concentrated on the mental aspect, the emotional aspect of having a good reason to want to get fit as well. You bet. It's excellent. I fully agree with that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you've got a whole, whole wide range of people that you can help. Are there any that you could say that you've got um, a real soft spot, a real soft spot for, if I could put it that way? Right. Well, anyone that reminds me of myself, I think, my mm -hmm. old self, um, that person or that girl that really wants to get better they want it so bad but they're just very trapped within their own mind and they just need that someone to support them mm -hmm. i have a soft spot for people that just truly want to get better and yeah. are very open um about their story and i'm thinking of a client in particular and you know we become friends over the time we're working together because I see so much of myself within them. But yeah, usually people that, you know, have a relationship with food that they do want to improve. And it doesn't have to be from an eating disorder. What I've been seeing a lot recently is illness. When right. you, when a food is not working for you for a very long time. Um, that can be very scary, you know, autoimmune issues, stuff like that. People can get very scared of mm. food because of their illness. And it doesn't have to even be a mental health illness, for an example. So I really have a soft spot for girls that really show me that they want to get better, but they just need that support. I truly believe that every single one of my clients, every single one of us 
have it within us to heal already. We just need, you know, kind of a coach to rely on and support us Mm. through it. I'm not giving anyone anything they don't already have within them, you know. That's a really nice way of putting it, actually. Yeah, excellent. So we, we've talked a lot about, you know, what you do and why you do it and so so forth. Where can people find, you know, the information? Yeah, so um, my website is currently under construction. And so we're giving it a whole new fun revamp right now. I'm super excited, but it should be up and running very soon. Um, if you go to Meg, the rhn.com, we do have a coming soon page um, set up there. So if you type in your email address, you will get alerts on, you know, when it's up and running. And also I send out um, emails every Monday with like free recipes, giveaways, stuff like that. For the month of September, I'm running a September soup challenge. So every Monday, I am sending out one new soup recipe and one gut healing tip that I think is key mm-hmm. for really supporting the health of your digestive system. And then at the end of September, I will be giving away my favorite bone broth from Oh So Good Bones. So I'm super excited about that. So go to megtherhn.com. And I'm also extremely active on Instagram. And so if you are part of Instagram, you can just look me up at megtherhn. That works too. Super job. So you've you've covered that. Is there anything else that uh, you want to mention? I know you've got a, you've got your book coming out. Where can people find out about that? Yeah, so my book is actually up for pre-order right now. So mm-hmm. you can go to Amazon, and if you just search Meg Doll, it'll pop up. But the name of my book is called Keto Freedom. So it is a high fat low carb um, cookbook with a lot of information on how to shift your mindset and set it up for healing. Um, I basically take you through a self-love journey, how to cultivate that self-love, and then show you all of the different ways in which fat can heal your body. Excellent. Well, you've given us a lot of information today. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, I know we're going to come back and speak to you at length, I think, in the future. So thanks for being on the Low Carb May Log Spot. It's been fascinating. Thanks again. Thank you so much.